Okay. Hi. Um, what we're going to have a look at now, uh, what the different lines uh, mean on the stereo net and how we can annotate it to uh, make it uh, easy to use. If you, if you have a close look at the stereo net, you'll notice that there are two straight lines on it that are not curved. One of them is this line here. Now technically that line represents a plane that is striking north-south and dipping vertically. But it's a straight line and that's useful. There's one other straight line and it's along what we call the equator of the stereo net in this di direction here. It's very helpful if we label these lines. That's the AB line and this is the XY line. Now don't colour them in like I've done here but do put labels on them because the AB line is the line that we set to strike. So we can turn this net around in any direction and it represents the strike orientation and then we can use all of these great circles here to uh, represent a plane in space. And the dip of the plane of course is at right angles to the strike so the XY line which is at right angles to the AB line is the line we use to read the dip. So sometimes just to help me remember I put read dip on the XY line. And any of these planes runs with a strike parallel to AB and it's dipping in from the primitive circle which is horizontal dipping in perhaps 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 right up to 90 and each of these little increments here each of these little great circles is in a 2 degree increment and that adds up to 90 dipping this way and 90 dipping this way counting down into the bowl from the primitive of the circle.